Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the fourth video of Windows Server 2012 tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to transfer FSM role from one DC to another DC step by step full. So let's have some idea about my demo environment. In my demo environment I have previously installed two domain control. The first one is Win2K12 DC01 and second one is Win2K12 DC02. So if you want to verify, you can verify from here. This is the Win2K12 DC01. I have installed Active Directory and DNS. And the second server is Win2K12 DC02. Here it is. And if you want, go to Tools, Users and Computers, Active Directory Users and Computer. Expand the domain name. And under the domain controller, you can verify we have two domain controller. Win 2K12 DC01 and Win 2K12 DC02. So, what I am going to do, uh, currently my all roles are holded by Win 2K12 DC01 because this is the first domain control in my environment and my forest or in my domain. So, all the roles are holded by Win 2K12 DC01. If you want to check out, you can check out from here. Go to command prompt, type net dom query fsmo so it will show you the all domain all all roles schema master domain naming master pdc red pool manager infrastructure master and all are holded by win2 k12 dc01 which which we are on so what i am going to do i am going to transfer from all roles from win2 k12 dc01 to dc02 uh, DC02. So these are the four four role for Active Directory uh, FSMO. And now I am going to log in my second server DC02. On the DC02, I am going to open once again Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. From here, I am going to select my domain name Victor Infosol. On the Victor Infosol, right click and go to Operation Masters and here you can see read pdc and such a chair so my currently hold uh, uh, role are holded by win 2k12 dc01 and i am going to transfer my role to win 2k12 dc02 which is my target server so i am going to just click on change and are you sure want to ch want to transfer the operation master role yes so the operation master role has been transferred so you can verify it's transfer to DC02 same I am going to do with PDC click OK and then for section master as well as so if you go and run again net um, query FSMO you can verify three roles are hand transferred from DC02 to DC01 to DC02 PDC red pool and for section master these are transferred so so now I am going to I'm going to move the domain naming master role and from DC02 I'm going to log in on DC02 and close from server manager tools I'm going to open domain active directory domain and trust so here it is from Active Directory Domain and Trust, I am going to right click on it and Operation Masters. You can verify the targets DC is Win2K12, DC02, where I am going to move the role. So change. Are you sure want to transfer the role? Yes, successfully transferred. So if you go to Command Prompt again and type that down query FSMO you can verify all the four roles has been transferred rest of schema master is right now on dc01 so for transferring the D, uh, schema master we need to register the dll file for schema master management so i'm going to type reg svr32 space sch mm gmt dot dll 
hit enter so you can see dll registry server and schema management dll success so now i am going to open the mmc console run mmc from mmc console i am going to click on files add a remove snap in here you can verify the active directory schema i am going to add it click ok without registering the dll we could not be able to find the active directory schema if you want to check out i am going on dc02 and type mmc hit enter file add and remove snaps you are not be able to find the schema active directory schema here so that's why we register the dll file and from the active directory schema i'm going to click on write and right click on schema active directory schema operations master you can verify we have to change our our target domain controller so i'm going to close it right click on and change active directory domain controller so i'm going to select my dc02 on which i am going i want to transfer the role so yes i'm going to right click on up to that schema operation master so now you can verify the target server is win 2k12 hyphen dc02 so i'm going to hit on change and uh, i sure want to change the change the operation masters yes so operation masters transfers successfully and if we go again and and netdom query fsmo so now you can verify all the roles are handled by dc02 so we have successfully transfer all the roles from dc01 to dc02 so i'm i'm on client machine of windows 7 which is logged in with my domain credential before uh, before moving the role fsm role from dc01 to dc02 so what i am going to do here i am going to check the login server for my this machine so domain name is victorinfosol.local and login server is win 2 k 12 hyphen dc01 so what i am going to do i am going to restart this machine and verify the login server once the server is rebooted so the client machine is restarting it will take some time so the client machine is restarted I am going to log in with the domain credential and domain user IT01 So now I am going to open command prompt start cmd and system info enter So now you can verify the login serve login domain name is victor info sold as visual and login server is fin2k12 dc02 <laughs> which is our new domain controller which is host uh, which is holding the all fsm role so this all about the FSM role transfer from one DC to another DC so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query related to this you can drop me a mail on my given mail ID and hope you guys will enjoy my this video and in the next video I am going to show you how to add additional child domain control on Windows Server 2012 step by step so thank you for watching bye bye and one more thing at the last I want to s tell you if you have two domain controller and same network so you have to put the DNS entry for both the d uh, both the domain controller which is like in my environment 
I have two domain controller two domain controller the first one is you can verify from here if I go and show you 192.168.1.254 and 192.168.1.253 so I have put it the entry and DNS for both both the DNS servers so this is all about the additional domain control and transferring role from one to another server thanks you thank you bye bye